Well, hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing a fabric and pattern pairing. This is one of my favorite videos to do because I get a lot of feedback and people are generally really excited to share with me their thoughts on whether or not they like the patterns that I select with some of the fabrics that I choose. I do have a haul that I want to share with you. So the fabrics that I'm going to be sharing with you today are uh, recent purchases and I purchased these fabrics from fabric.com. I'll try to remember to put the links to these pieces in the description box below. So if they're available, you can go over and purchase the pieces if you like the pieces. So all of these fabrics are rayon chalet fabrics. I've really been getting into sewing a lot of rayon lately. I really like the drape and the movement. I know we are about to approach winter and rayon chalets aren't usually um, you know, good for that type of weather, um, it, especially in the United States anyway, because most of the areas in the United States, we experience some uh, extreme cold temperatures. And so I won't be able to really wear these in the winter. However, I intend on either uh, making some of these pieces for a late winter or early spring, and then maybe layering, putting like additional, um, layering pieces over top of them like coats or cardigans or coatigans or things of that nature to uh to kind of keep warm but anyway with all of that said i want to go ahead and get into the video and share with you my fabric haul and some of the patterns that i um, intend to pair with these these videos videos are always so fun for me to do because I really like getting the feedback from you all. And then also I like to go back and reference the videos when I pull out these fabrics and uh, see the types of patterns that I paired with them and see if, um, you know, I was on the right train of thought <laughs> when I was making the video. So I'm really excited to share with you this fabric and pattern pairing today. I haven't done one in a while, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and take a look at some beautiful rayon fabrics. Again, I purchased these fabrics from fabric.com, so go ahead and check the description box below and you'll find links in the description box to all of these different pieces. So this first piece, I actually picked this up towards the middle or the late end of summer. Uh, I'm still gonna go ahead and share it with you in this haul, even though it wasn't a recent buy. So I wanted to use this fabric in the summer, but I never got an opportunity to actually make it. And when I say an opportunity, I just, I haven't found the right pattern to actually go with this. So I am open to suggestions if you have any. I think I have three yards of this. It's a rayon chalet fabric and it has lots of movement, lots of drape. Really love it. It's on the cream background and on the foreground you have uh, these red and pinkish hues of, I think it's a zebra print. The description says that it is an animal print the only animal that I think that would resemble this is a, a zebra. So I think it's a zebra print, really gorgeous fabric, and I really like it. So like I said, I didn't have anything like specific in mind when I purchased this, but I did think about some of the patterns that I have made in the past, like revisiting some of those older patterns, and I'll put those here. There's a simplicity pattern that I made a couple years ago that has a lower ruffle at the bottom of the skirt, which is really cute. It has a tie on the neckline, and I believe uh, it has like a, a really cute rounded uh, neckline opening as well. You have some options uh, to put like uh, ruffles going around the neckline, uh, like a ruffle tie and there are pockets in that particular skirt pattern as well which i really like a uh, really nice pattern and i haven't made that one yet i keep telling myself that i'm going to revisit that pattern because i love that pattern and the garments that i made with it and so i thought about something like this uh, for that pattern but you all let me know in the comment section below because nothing is actually coming to mind um, in terms of like a dress pattern for this particular fabric. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this fabric and 
what dress pattern or top and skirt pattern I could use with this particular fabric. So this next piece here is nothing special. It's just a Tilio rayon fabric that is really lightweight. Now, when I picked this up, I intended to use this as a, uh, a contrast piece to a midriff or something like that. But when I purchased it and I received it, well, when I purchased it, I read the description and it says that it's light in weight and it's about 3.9 ounces. I usually get any of my fabrics from fabric.com that are light in weight that I don't want to uh, line are usually 3.9 inches in weight and higher. And so I thought that it would be okay, but this one is still a little too sheer. As you can see, the light is just passing through that. Um, it's just a little too sheer, and I don't know if I'll be able to use this for what I originally intended to use it for. I wanted to have it, like I said, as a contrast. So let me go ahead and share with you an idea I had. This next piece here, beautiful fabric. It is a, I think this is a Tilio print as well. It's a white and a spotted fabric. I think the description says that these are abstract uh, dots here. So I thought that'll be good as well. As you can tell here, the light does not pass through this white as much as it does with the black. And so I can definitely wear this without lining it, which is really nice. So that's what I was expecting to get with this black fabric here, but I did not. So I intended to use the Simplicity 8384, which is a pattern that I'm currently working on. I've been doing the, the front section of that bodice pattern, um, just creating my own designs and adding different types of uh, hacks and features to that pattern. So I omitted the front button placket and I did a version where you don't have to do the front button placket, but you can do like an overlap and then also include the buttons on it. And then I also made a version where you can actually just put part of the front of the bodice on fold and then um, have like an open vent on the neckline. And so I've just been really playing with that pattern. And this fabric here, I purchased specifically to uh, make one of those variations with, I was going to use this to contrast for the front uh, button band. So that idea is not going to work because the fabric is just too light in weight and I won't be able to do that. However, I do like the idea of making one of my uh, versions that I've hacked and uh, just include this into that. So with the Simplicity 8384 pattern, you do have, uh, I think, three or four different skirt pattern pieces that you're cutting out. You will have six panels when you're uh, done. So you have the front, which is cut on fold. You have the back, which is cut on fold. And then you have the side front and the side back skirt. So you have a lot of pieces that you're working with. And so if you want to avoid cutting into a fabric that has um, a really large prints and things like that so that you don't have to match or any kind of plaids or stripes or anything like that. Um, it would be better to uh, get a fabric like this where it would not really uh, show or really matter where the seam is. I also thought about uh, making one of the patterns that I made a couple years ago that I absolutely love and I have not been able to get back to that pattern is the Butterick B6763. I had a really fun time with that particular uh, skirt pattern or dress pattern. It's a dress pattern. It also has a button front 
for the dress, but the buttons go all the way down the center front of the dress. Such a beautiful, beautiful pattern. It comes in plus sizes as well, which is really nice. It has a V-neck line, flutter sleeves. You have an optional ruffle at the hem. Just a really great pattern. Also has pockets, which I really love. So I thought about that with this piece as well. Or the Butterick B6723, which um, it has two different views. So you can do the, uh, the variation that is a shorter skirt, I think is a knee length, and it has a curve at the bottom. And then you also have the variation with um, the ruffle at the hem. It has an elasticated waist. You have a button front bodice, but the buttons don't go all the way down the center front of the dress, which is really nice. And you also have uh, the option to do either a long sleeve or a short sleeve. And I believe the longer sleeves have like this little cute tie at the the end of the sleeve. So I thought about that with this particular fabric, but you let me know which of those patterns you think would look really great with this. But I can see this uh, paired with a pair of red heels uh, with a red handbag or a red um, uh, handkerchief or a tie that goes around the neckline or red cardigan. It would just be so cute. So I really like that and I'm glad that I got that. I can also uh, pair this with my blue heels as well uh, with a blue cardigan. Just It's just so fun to do black and white uh, fabrics because you can pair them with a number of different colors. Like in the summertime, you can do yellow. In the wintertime, you can do red um, or blue or, you know, just really fun. So anyway, that's why I picked up this piece and I got three yards of it. Next, I picked up this piece here. Now this is also a Rayon Chalet uh, by Tilio. That's the brand. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than the previous Rayon that I just uh, showed you here. So although the light does not pass through this completely, you can see just a little bit if you get up close, you can see that um, it's a little bit uh, transparent, not translucent, but it is a little transparent. And so depending on what you want to use this fabric for, you may need to line it. So like if you if you want it for late fall or winter here in the United States, you definitely would need to line it. But if you use this for early fall or for summer or late spring, I think it would be fine. This looks more like a fall print to me because of the really nice deep marigold brownish color in here. And um, I really love the large scale flowers. I'm usually not one for gray. Gray can be very gloomy. And so I don't usually gravitate towards gray However, I really love this print here. I really love the big flowers. And initially when I bought this piece, I thought about the, Simpl the Simplicity 8384. And then I remembered how many panels it has. And so going back to my original statement when I was talking about, you know, that pattern having all those different, that pattern having so many different panels on it, um, it will break up some of these larger flower pieces here. And depending on how it's sewn together, it can look awkward. And so I thought about that, but <laughs> I said I would use the bodice if I really want to, you know, get that look. I can use the bodice and then just use a skirt that has just a front and a back piece instead of all those different panels. So I thought about doing that. And then also for this particular fabric, I think that Butterick pattern, that 6723, that also would look really good with it as well as the Butterick B6763. I think that would look good with it as well, which I think would be super, super fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so you can see the drape of it. 
So that's the drape. It is a two directional print. So you don't really have to worry about the flowers there because the flowers go um, up and down, up and down throughout, throughout the entire piece. And it's pretty consistent and you don't, it, it looks pretty consistent. So I don't think you'll have to worry too much in terms of um, the direction and how to place your patterns on your pattern pieces on this fabric here. Lastly, I picked up this gorgeous piece here. This is a black fabric that has white polka dots and purple and green floral designs going throughout the fabric. I love this so much. This is a piece that I've been wanting to get my hands on for pretty much all summer. And I was thinking, you know, at the time it didn't really scream summer and sometimes fabric.com it's, it's one of those sites where if you don't get the piece <laughs> when it's on the site, um, you never know if it's going to be available or if they're going to restock. So I was really surprised that they still had this because they had it on their site for a while, but I was able to get it and I really like it. And I got three and a half yards of this. So if I don't use the Simplicity 8384, I was thinking about the uh, McCall's M8069. So this is a pattern that has three views um, with three different skirt options. So you have a ruffle option or you have a tier option. I think you have uh, two tiers and then you have three tiers. I absolutely love this pattern and I'm just stunned that I haven't made it yet. I believe Natita of So Natural Dame made it last year and when she made her version, I just thought it was beautiful. Um, but anyway, it has an open neckline with the stand-up collar band. It has an elasticated waist, long sleeves, and you have different options for your sleeves. I think you could put um, elastic in the hem of the sleeve or elastic on top of the sleeve so that you can get like a, a little uh, ruffle at the bottom of your sleeve. And then you also have an option to do a ruffle neckline as well, which is really cute. So I'll put the pattern here so you can see what it looks like. I really like that. And with the, the triple tier option, I will need quite a bit of fabric. I think it calls for like three and a half to four yards of fabric. I have three and a half yards of fabric here. Uh, so I definitely have enough to do the three tier version without the ruffle and maybe a short sleeve. So I'm thinking about doing something like that or either, um, like I said, the Simplicity 8384 it just depends on uh, which bodice I think would look best with this. And then I also like the idea of possibly making uh, the uh, Butterick B6723 with it. So I have a few patterns, a few dress patterns that I want to make before the end of the year. And the McCall's 8069 is one of them, the Butterick B6723 the Butterick B6763, the Butterick B6779, which is an asymmetrical flounce skirt. And I haven't talked a little, I haven't talked about that one as much um, since I've been doing this video here, but I think for that particular pattern, the Butterick B6779, I think this fabric would be so lovely with that as well. So that is definitely an option, the Butterick B6779 for this one. And then I also want to play with the Simplicity 8384, all of the different hackable options that I have made. So anyway, that is um, my video on my fabric and pattern pairing and some of my thoughts and ideas of these fabrics. Let me know if there's any patterns out there that would look great with any of the fabrics that I shared with you today. 
So that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed yourself. If you did, please make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like today's content or any of the content on my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing week. Bye.